Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis. Today we're going to be doing the final video slash review of the bulk reef supply color changing CO2 media. Now I decided to do a final video uh, because the previous one you guys had all these recommendations and suggestions on how to make it work better and uh, I decided to go ahead and implement those with this new setup just to see if the media itself uh, would color change and how long it would last. So uh, with that said, let's go over and look at the setup and then we'll look at the numbers. So uh, right off the bat, you guys can see that the setup is a little bit different. If you saw in the previous video, I went ahead and created my own CO2, uh, recirculating CO2 scrubber attachment. Now you can find these on my website. Uh, there's a bunch of new ones coming in. You guys are sending in all your lids and I appreciate that by the way. And uh, yeah, so if you don't see your particular skimmer on the website, consider ordering the custom one and then send in your lid slash cup or whatever and I can make one uh, specifically for that. But either way, I went ahead and made it a recirculating skimmer and then uh, taped off the top, of course, so no air or anything can get out. So all that air stays within the chamber here. And of course, it all re recirculates through the uh, DIY Fosfan 550 CO2 scrubber that we built a couple videos ago. Uh, ago. Um, but anyway, so I went ahead and refilled the chamber. This is, again, my second bag of this color changing media. So this time I refilled it. And then I went ahead and attached it in a way that the moisture and the humidity would go all the way down to the bottom of the reactor. And you can see there, there's some humidity there. Um, and then I also went ahead and added as much water as I possibly could, which comes out to about 10 milliliters before it gets too close to the media. And I don't really feel comfortable with that. So either way, um, you can, again, you can see the humidity there. That way uh, you have the proper amount of water to help um, make the media work. Now, as you can see, the media is still white. Uh, during the last week, and by the way, this test has been going on since I believe the 16th, 15th or 16th, and uh, yeah, so just a little over a week. Uh, this media never changed color, just like the previous two tests. Uh, and again, we are on our second bag of this media. It never changed color, and now it's starting to stop working. Now, one thing I will say is that adding it to a recirculating system has extended the life from about a day to two days with this particular skimmer to just over a week and you can see and you'll see here in a second that it's just starting to uh, die off so recirculating is a good way to go if you want to uh, extend the life of your media so uh, take that in consideration but either way uh, this has not changed color just like the previous two tests so let's go ahead and look over at the results here and I'll show you guys what we got so you can see here on the 17th now let's go ahead and look at the calendar do 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 all right so I went ahead and implemented this on the 15th or 16th. I know I uploaded the video on the 16th, so it was one of these two days. I started it, I refilled the chamber and did all that. Um, it might have been a day before, so it just depends. Either one of those, I have uh, refilled the chamber uh, pretty close to about a week or a couple days, week and a couple days ago. So um, I probably should have uh, notated that on my board, <laughs> but it's been about a week or a little over a week since I uh, changed out the media. So anyway, um, Prior to the 17th, we can't see it here on the Apex. Um, there, there might be a way that you can see like a month's worth of stuff, but I've never figured it out and I've never looked. But it, either way, we go back to the 17th. Now, prior to the 17th, I was getting up to about 8.2, 8.25, and that's where it was for the first couple days. And as you can see here, we're moving over to the 18th, you can see that our peak CO2 is slowly, slowly declining. Now, uh, let me change hands here so I can actually use the cursor. So right now it is, uh, 520 well 523 is 350 so we'll just say it's four o'clock so we can see here uh current uh at uh, 315 we were at uh, 7.95 and if we look the previous day at uh 315 which is pretty close to that right there we were at eight so you can see that we're already down uh, a little bit from the previous day and that's kind of been the trend for the uh for the last week now again this is a lasting lasting a lot longer than it did without it being circulating. If, when it was uh, non-circulating, just using the air within the room, it was two days max and that chamber was exhausted. Now again, it didn't change color, but you can just tell by how the pH fluctuates and the peaks that it was completely exhausted uh, just within a, a, a few days or a couple days. Now, um, a week, I'm guessing that's pretty good. Uh, I do have the biggest skimmer that Niles makes and it has two pumps it uses a ton of air so I'm assuming that uh, it's probably going to use it up a lot quicker than most of your uh, standard skimmers you know your single pump skimmers or small curve seven skimmers so I think a week is pretty decent for this skimmer uh, cost effective wise 
probably not. <laughs> I mean, you got to think uh, that 550 reactor holds a quite a bit of media, and if you're using, um, you know, every week you got to change it out to keep it at like 8.2, then you're probably going to burn through a bag, bag and a half every month and you just do the math on that if you're not getting it wholesale you're probably paying it quite a bit and uh yeah so cost effective wise probably not going to be worth using on a niles quantum 300 but again for like a bubble magus or something like that something smaller you might get a lot more life out of that media just again because it is a smaller skimmer so keep that in mind so my overall thoughts for the media itself it works don't get me wrong it works but it doesn't change color and I just want to put a little disclaimer out there. It doesn't change color for me. Um, this is, again, my third test. And, you know, I like BRS, so I wanted to give it another shot to see if it would work. It just didn't work. It's not changing color. Now, um, if it was advertised as just CO2 media, non-color changing, then, yeah, it worked. Uh, it provided the uh, COT, CO2 scrubbing for over the last week. It seemed to be working pretty good. I'm staying over eight, which is always nice, uh, but it is slowly declining again over the last week and a couple days. And I'll be generous. I'll say like eight or nine days just to be nice. So yeah, seven, to nine days it's been working. And again, I will we'll see over the next couple of days if uh, if it continually uh, plummets or not plummets, continually drops, uh, indicating that again, that the CO2 media is exhausted. So yeah, it works, but it doesn't change color. So maybe if you guys uh, have used it before feel free to put that stuff in the comment section. Let me know if uh, How long the media worked if it changed color for you um, I know that they had uh, from what I read and I haven't used it. So this is stuff that I read on the forums that they used to have a uh, a previous version um, Formula or whatever that worked uh, just fine. It changed color and everybody really liked it um, Why they went to this one? I don't know. Um, I don't make the business decisions for any other company, but my own but uh, this version right here it does not color change for me. And again, this is my third, uh, my third try. So I just want to put that out there. And uh, yeah, so I'll be interested to see what you guys think. Uh, now for me, future-wise, um, I will burn the rest of this media up just because uh, you know there's no reason to have it sitting around. So I will refill this chamber once it completely drops down to the point where I know it's not working at all. And uh, I'll use up the rest of the media, and then I'll probably just plumb this skimmer outside with my new uh, carbon filter that's coming to the website here, I don't know, soon. But uh, yeah, so if you're using the smaller skimmer, uh, you know, again, this is probably one of the bigger skimmers you can get on the market. And uh, if you're using a smaller skimmer with this type of reactor, which again is the DIY uh, 550, um, you'll probably get a lot more than a week out of the media. Um, so just keep that in mind, all right? But uh, other than that, I think that's it for the video. I didn't want to draw it out too long. We got like eight minutes in. Um, yeah, so stay tuned to the website. I'm gonna be adding these CO2 um, attachments uh, as soon as I get done with them. And right now I got like seven of them sitting in my hallway or on the stairwell, uh, sitting in boxes ready to make them. And whew, there goes the camera. So just keep an eye on the website if you're interested in adding a CO2 scrubber to your uh, skimmer. And again, if you don't find yours, you can always order the custom and send it to me. All right, don't worry, I'm not gonna steal your skimmer lid. <laughs> Somebody emailed me and asked me, yo man, make sure you send that back. I really need it. Yeah, no, no worries, dude. I'm gonna take your skimmer cup uh, and I'm just gonna hold on to it because you know I'm some kind of freaking uh, skimmer cup thief over here, right? So, <laughs> anyways, that was not the word I was going to use, but uh, we're, you know, in the in the uh, in the spirit of trying to get remonetized and you know, algorithm-wise, you know, I'm trying to be nice. But anyway, uh, speaking of that, guys, if you watch this video and you got this far, hit the thumbs up and leave a comment. Uh, you can say anything you want. Uh, the more engagement we get on the videos, the more shares, the likes, the comments, uh, the little bit better ranking I get, and hopefully we we'll get the channel back to actually. Um, be in there on the uh, on the first page <laughs> no promises on that i can tell you but uh, either way guys that's it i appreciate all the support and uh no more no more skimmer videos no more co2 videos it was a little it was a little weird for a bit there um i'm done we're moving on to other stuff all right guys and oh yeah i just cleaned the glass mm -hmm. bye peace